You have a great future ahead of you. Wonders the world is yet to see and is waiting for their manifestation. God is calling you into a world where lack is non-existent. Where there is abundance and God is your sufficiency. Your wealth will flow to the ends of the earth. Kings will come to your brightness and Gentiles to your rising. It will be impossible to hide what God is doing in your life. Is it possible to stop water from flowing? No, as long as you remain connected to your source, which is God. You will just keep giving out because you already have an abundance. Maybe you have had a rough time. Maybe things aren't going too well. Perhaps you have had to struggle all your life and depend on others for support. You may even be at the point of frustration right now, ready to give up and just throw in the towel. No matter what you do or try, nothing seems to work out. You cannot get a job despite your efforts. You can hardly meet up with your daily expenses. Or maybe you have to avoid people so you do not answer their questions because you do not even have an answer. And all this is beginning to weigh you down and make you lose faith. Look up, child of God. The skies are clearing and a new day has begun. The light is just a few steps away. You are about to hit gold, so do not stop digging. God has not forsaken you, and he will not leave you helpless. He has great plans for you, greater than you can ever imagine. While Abraham was just thinking of having a child of his own, an heir to his inheritance, God had plans to make him a father of many nations. Peter just probably wanted to get some catch and take the proceeds home to his family, but God was seeing a fisher of men. You might just be looking to get a good job that will cater for your expenses and that of your family. But what God wants for you is to step into a dimension where you become a kingdom financer. Maybe all you want to do is get out of that debt, but God has even better plans for you. He changed the story of that widow. And she not only paid her debts, but had more than enough to take care of herself and her sons. God is willing to do more than that for you. You can overflow in various areas of your life. It doesn't have to be limited to finances alone. Your spiritual experience may have been as dry as a desert, but God will cause rain to fall and bring you out of that state. You will be able to access things in the spirit. Have your faith strengthened and see miracles in your life. But beyond seeing miracles, God can use you to work miracles in the life of others. Peter experienced an overflow of God's power such that even his shadow healed the sick. The apostles performed so many miracles that blessed the lives of many people, healing the sick, raising the dead, casting out demons, and bringing many into the knowledge of Christ. When Peter and John had an encounter with the lame man at the beautiful gate, he said, Such as I have, give I unto you. That is, from the abundance of God's power within him, he was able to extend the same to the lame man and heal him. Your days of dryness and no manifestation of God's power are behind you now. You will see an overflow of miracles, signs and wonders through your hands in your life and ministry. You can as well experience an overflow in God's wisdom and grace upon your life such that people will come to you from all over to hear you and seek your counsel. God has done it for others before, and he is still in the business of bringing people to a place of abundance and overflow. You can hasten these things and begin to see them happen in your life in no time. Learn to give. Give to the poor and needy and give to God's work. Luke 6 verse 38 says, Give and it shall be given unto you. Solomon gave God a thousand burnt offerings, and he became so rich in all things. Peter allowed Jesus into his boat, and at his command, he cast his net and got a great catch that his net began to break. As you give in faith and obey God's instructions, you will see the wonders that turn out in your life. There is a time and season for everything in life. There's a time to sow 
and a time to reap. Those days of struggling without end are your period of sowing. It is now your season to reap your harvest. According to God's word, your barns will be filled with plenty, that there will be no space enough to contain it. You will be blessed in your going out and your coming in. Everywhere you turn, you just keep seeing God's wonders and miracles around you, and it will spill over to every area of your life. You will experience an overflow of God's goodness, blessings, joy, greatness, and wonders in your marriages, finances, academics, careers, and spiritual life. Welcome to a new life and a new season. Welcome to the ream where all things are possible for you. No longer will you lack or have to manage. No longer will you beg or be stranded. You will not only be blessed, you will become a blessing to others. That is the life of the men in Christ. There is no limit, no bounds and no end to the heights of greatness and prosperity you can achieve. Forget the former things or the things of old. It is your time and your turn, and no power can stop the work of God in your life. Wipe those tears, put away those rags, and begin to rejoice. Your songs of laughter shall be heard from all over, and people will come to rejoice with you. It's your time to overflow. It is possible to be blessed and have enough to just to meet your immediate needs, and many people are striving to get to this level. But beyond being blessed, there is a level you can get to where you become a blessing to others. That is the point where you begin to overflow. The blessings are not just for you alone, but will spread out to others around you. And that is the level God is taking you to. It might be difficult for you to believe it now because of the many troubles that you are going through currently, but you can be assured that God can do all things and he is very much interested in your case. He can make a monument out of nothing just by the power of his word. The very world that we live in is evidence of this. He can turn situations around within the blink of an eye. It does not take him anything. Let your hope rise again and your faith become strong to receive what is coming ahead for you. From being a debtor, God can make you a lender, not just to people, but to nations. From begging from others, you will begin to entertain many at your table, giving to many others that do not have. To him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ever ask or think, be all the glory forever. Amen.